Hi, I'm Frank, and we're in the deep end. Be sure to subscribe, like, and ring the bell. That helps us get our message out there. Now let's learn some pool stuff. All right, I'm Lance Anderson with Anderson Manufacturing Company. We're showing a leakalyzer here today. The leakalyzer is a water loss sensor. It measures water level changes to the 10,000th of an inch and then plots those on a graph so that within five or 10 minutes at a pool, you can determine what the rate of water loss is at that pool that otherwise wouldn't be perceived unless you waited for 24 hours. So here's a test, for instance, that we've been running in our little booth pool. We don't even have a leak going here, but other than a, a bump of the table, which is that spike that we're showing, we're showing a line that's going down at an angle that's about at the same angle or slope as what we estimated evaporation to be, which is the dotted straight line there. Our slope is going down at that angle, and when we press a detail screen, the device will calculate then that it calculates that's at about a uh, 0.15 rate of water loss, which is w right what we estimated evaporation to be. If we did have a leak at the pool, we'd see a slope of a line that would be much steeper than that one that we're showing. So now we're, we've created a leak, or? I've created, you know what's not going real fast here, but let's get it. <laughs> it takes a little bit to get the water coming out of there. Not gonna edit. It. No, so yeah, it's not gonna happen right now. <laughs> but anyway, a steeper, what would happen is it would take a while for us to show that, but it, we'd start to see the line going down at a steeper angle. So this is a valuable tool to use for a, a pool inspection or for a leak detection job. You can determine if the pool is leaking or not. Because, you know, we always say that the hardest leak to find is one that's not there. <laughs> and so um, we want to know before we start pulling out the rest of our pressure testing equipment or whatever else we might be using, um, if there's a leak there. It also gives us a good baseline. Now as we start going and looking for that leak, if we find something that just pulls a little bit of dye, but we know from our leakalyzer that the pool's losing inches of water a day, we're going to keep looking for the one that we know accounts for the water loss that we've identified. Or you can just temporarily patch a crack and if, and if you're still losing water, then okay, that wasn't all. That wasn't it, yep. So. And that's a nice way to be to know we're done with the job. If we can get now a line that's going along with the evaporation line, we know we've fixed the leak, we can show that to the customer, provide a report and a confirmation that we've done the work that we said we were gonna do. Right. And nobody wants to return to a job. Nope, that's a good, <laughs> a good way to avoid and, uh, it. You said you have an app, so basically you punch in the zip code and it will, and it will give you all the information for the, uh, now this isn't on the app, you actually pull the app up on your phone yeah, or, so or laptop? What we were talking about before was an evaporation calculator. So yes. in order to establish what the evaporation rate is that's appropriate for the pool you're doing, you type in your zip code, it'll pull up the weather data for your area, and it'll then calculate what the evaporation rate is that's expected for that day. And that is on an app. Now there is an additional app that works with the leakalyzer that does more than just the evaporation calculation. If we had a test like this that we were um, comfortable with, we could now save this test. Let me see, quit and save. I put it into a slot and save it. Now it's saved on this device, but I could download that saved test to my phone. And when it's on my phone, I can see the test like we're showing here and um, actually create a graphics file that could be downloaded then into a report that you were producing for an inspection report or something like yeah, that. Yeah, and I really like the idea of the inspection. Do you want the inspection with or without? Right, sure. Sensible for somebody to accept an extra fee to make sure the pool doesn't leak yeah. or at least have it addressed before they purchase the house. And we, I, I love it. And I, I've owned one of these. I broke it. <laughs> but I uh, haven't had one in a few years, but I believe I'm about to get another. And leaktools.com? Anderson is Anderson Manufacturing Company is a company named leaktools.com is the website. And they're available on that website. Or give us a call. We'll be happy to talk about it and right. solve problems. We buy a lot of skimmer injection materials right, from you guys. Good. So uh, we do that. And, like I said, we used to do leak protection. Yeah. So is there uh, any, I, I appreciate your time. Uh, great product. I love it. Great. Thanks. Take care.